Hello, 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 everybody. Um, now, this if some of you that have went back and watched some of my older videos may recognize parts of this video. It's one of my earlier videos that I took and, and brought back and revamped because I believe it needs to be. I just wanted to do it. It helps keep these kids' names and their faces and their stories out there. So I, I hope you watch till the end. I hope you enjoy it and like, subscribe, comment. Everything helps this channel grow and we are still trying to get it to grow, guys. So, so we can get more kids' faces and stories out there so that more people can pay attention and hopefully bring more children home to us before the worst of the worst happens. So anyways, here we go. This is Avery Shorts. Family and friends called her Peaches. Six years old, went missing from her home in Knoxville, Tennessee on December 26, 1980. Her mom asked her to walk down the block and buy her a soda, not knowing that would be the last time she would see Little Peaches alive. This is Hazel Smith, her mother. A man and his son found her tiny body a year later, about 15 minutes away from her home. Meet Mitchell Reed. This is the monster that Detective Winston knows unalived peaches, but was never able to lock him up for his horrible deed. This is Mitchell Reed back in 2010, after years of being in and out of jail. At one point, Knox County Sheriff's Department thought he had passed away until he turned up in a nursing home. His mind was gone and he could not remember anything. But when asked about Peaches, he stated, I have never unalived anyone. So although they found her remains, and knew who unalived her. They did not have what they needed to lock him up. It is still an unsolved case in Knox County, Tennessee. Now meet little Joe Clyde Daniels. He went missing on April 4th, 2018 from Dixon County, Tennessee. He went to bed with his siblings and the next morning he could not be found. He was five years old, autistic, nonverbal. He had developmental delays, but loved school. Meet the monsters who unalived little Joe Clyde. Joseph Ray Daniels, his dad, and Crystal Daniels, his mom. A private investigator still continues to look for little Joe Clyde's remains to this day. Meet Summer Moon Utah Wells, missing since June 15, 2021, from Hawkins County, Tennessee. She was at home with her mother, grandmother, and her brothers, where she should have been safe. Summer was five years old and just got gone claims her mother, and she has not been seen since. This little angel has the world spinning, trying to figure out what, where, when, why, who, and how. Will we ever find her? Will we ever find out who done this?
Or will Summer's case be another Avery Peaches shorts or little Joe Clyde Daniels? Just so you all know, I believe Summer is out there waiting to be found alive. So tell me, what would be worse in the two prior cases? Tell me what would be worse to recover the remains but not be able to lock up the monster or monsters or to be able to lock up the monster or monsters but not be able to lay the little angel to rest. God bless and I'll see you this evening at 5 o'clock.